Hi guys, this is DMNC. Welcome to our channel. Subscribe and don't forget to the bell icon. Uh, Queen guitarist Brian May said in Bands of Shell YouTube channel that they also lost Sean Deacon when Freddie Mercury died. Recently, drummer Roger Taylor said that the last time he talked to Deacon was back in 2004. There is one song that I sing together with Freddie. I can't see ever not wanting to do that. Of course, the audience do it all and it's all about the audience cheering that moment. The memories and the fact that we're still here, the legacy lives on. I think Freddie would be so happy about that. Obviously, we so often wish Freddie was here to share it with us and John too, because we kind of lost John as well. It's pretty hard. It's, it's a great thing to share. I, 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 obviously, we so often wish Freddie was here to share it with us and John too, because we kind of lost John as well. It's very hard. John Deacon quit Queen and the music business back in 1997 and ever since remains a click loose. When asked if he'd kept in touch with Deacon, Roger said, No, we don't actually. John has sort of consciously excluded himself from the world. He doesn't like engaging in contact with anybody, I think. I think he's very fragile and we respect that. Although he's still obviously our sort of business partner in our way, our silent business partner. He enjoys the financial rewards but he really doesn't want anything to do with the music industry anymore. I don't think he feels he wants to handle it and all the stuff that goes with it. So no, we don't keep in touch actually. I last time saw John, I think We Will Rock You had opened 6 months before. I saw him there one night in the bar he strolled in and that's the last time I saw him, probably 2004.